States, Japan, and the Republic of Korea for convening uh, the session. I would also like to thank uh, ASG Yenka for his briefing. Mr. President, we join others in strongly condemning the latest launch of an international intercontinental ballistic missile by the Democratic Republic of Korea in violation of their Security Council resolution. We concur with the Secretary General that, is, that this constitutes, and I quote, a dangerous escalation of the situation, unquote, threatening regional peace and security in the Korean Peninsula. It is absolutely important that the DPRK seize these provocative actions to reduce the tension in the Korean Peninsula and prevent the further escalation of the situation. We would like to once again underscore the need for finding a lasting comprehensive political and diplomatic solution through dialogue and negotiation. This requires that the DPRK returns to its international commitments on denuclearization and fully comply with the relevant resolution to the of the Security Council. It is important that we maintain the unity of the Council and speak with one voice addressing, in addressing this issue, which is becoming extremely dangerous. One thing makes us not lose hope. While there might be differences on method and approach, Concerning the substances relating to denuclearization of DPRK, there are none. This should never be understated. Finally, the latest launch of ballistic missile by the DPRK is a reminder to all of us that the full implementation of the Council's resolution by all member states is much more critical now, more than ever before. I would like to reaffirm the commitment of Ethiopia to continue to work towards the full implementation of this Security Council resolution. I thank you.